We've uh, ordered some storm recovery structures uh, to uh, help us uh, in case of we ever have a uh, an outage due to ice or uh, tornadoes. We've ordered the three 45 kV storm recovery structures, and they are uh, they come in 20 foot sections. We've ordered four of them, and they're 120 feet tall. The plan is to have an individual structure set off to a side. And, uh, and they have a crate with all the material that goes with it, all the insulators, uh, straps, rig straps, uh, everything that needs to go with it in a crate. And so when we ever have a issue or something like that, our crews can go out to the site, pick up the, uh, the structure in the crate box and head straight out to the, the site. The structure uh, is mainly a, a, a single pole structure with a kind of like a pinpoint bottom it fits on the uh, uh, fits on top of a, a metal platform, and it uh, stands up by guy wires. So you have, uh, I believe, eight guy wires for a 120 foot structure. We also are able to use it for our 161 kV lines if we need to, if we have a power out outage or some kind of failure there. We did a, a trial deal in a, over at Pelco where we had one of our crews go over there and uh, try to construct one, which was a good idea because uh, we want to see what kind of problems were represented. Uh, and what we found out is uh, one thing is uh, our crane that we have is not uh, tall enough to uh, to do multiple sections. So we, we need to put construct it with uh, single sections, uh, and also uh, it can't handle the weight. So uh, so that was a good experience there, knowing what our capabilities are. But also, uh, there was a discussion on. Uh, on the rigging strap, uh, they were worried about it wasn't strong enough, and so uh, so uh, there's a lot of good things that came out of that scenario where we tried to put one up. So I think this is a, a good start for us, uh, where we'll be uh, ready for any kind of storm event that comes along. It's an emergency structure to replace structures quickly out in the field that have fallen down or been damaged by a storm or an icy event. And the whole idea is it can be put up in one day because there's no concrete foundations to pour. It's all, it's all about screwing anchor foundations and quickly stands it up and it's a guide structure. It's, it's meant, intended to be temporary until they can replace whatever structure was damaged. I think you tell us that they need this. It is, it is so costly to have a line go down for any period of time at all. If they can cut the time down from three days to one day, it's worth it. It's worthwhile because this structure is to be taken down, stored, and reused again. So it's not like you're buying a lot of these things. You're just buying enough of them to handle your storm restoration. GRDA is the first one to try out this structure. And hopefully they'll never use it. But if they do, we'll find out immediately if it uh, meets the goals we've set for it.